comes with two doses, four milligrams each, safe medication used to reverse opioid overdose. All you have to do is actually enter a zip code within New York City um, and then select the item that you want. All right, that's a drug overdose prevention advocate explaining what's inside New York's new drug vending machines that are sold out everywhere. They come equipped with everything from Narcan and drug test strips to condoms and safer smoking kits. Supporters say these machines will prevent overdoses and save lives. They cost $11,000 each, then you have to replenish them. They're coming to a city near you, Philadelphia, Vegas, Detroit, San Francisco, and others have them already, but not everybody is in favor of the idea. We spoke with a Democratic New York City councilman last night. It's called insanity to hand out crack pipes and Narcan and, and everything free, by the way. So you can just, people are going to take them and they're going to sell them. But what you're doing is enabling drug users to get high. That's insane. Unless you have, you know, you have to couple that with treatment. And having a vending machine defeats the purpose. It, it's insane. Julie Stampler is here, harm reduction activist who lost her brother Jonathan to an overdose uh, 20 years ago. Julie, I, I appreciate it, and I know uh, the loss the loss is raw, especially when you're working with people who are struggling for the same thing. I, I'll cut to the chase. If these vending machines had existed uh, 20 years ago, uh, would your brother be alive today? 100%. Part of the reason why he passed was he was with a group of people using a multitude of substances, started to overdose. Everybody freaked out, didn't have Narcan available, and they waited too long and ultimately dumped him on the hospital steps because we also didn't have good Samaritan laws in place that we do now to protect people from prosecution if they end up in a situation like that. So yes, my brother would still be here if somebody had had Narcan with them. So you know the arguments, right? That the, the, more, the easier you make it, the, the less dangerous you make this behavior. Uh, the more likely people are are to do it. And I think about the, the rest of the effects, right? The, these vending machines aren't on the Upper East Side. They're not in Tribeca in the West Village, the, the fanciest places in town. They're in the, the most difficult parts of town. Um, what about the rights of everybody else to not have people who are freely using drugs around them in their neighborhoods? People are using drugs anyway, Leland. The whole point of the vending machine, especially being put into neighborhoods where they're finding a higher prevalence of overdose makes a lot of sense. People overdose on the Upper East Side of Manhattan as, as much as they do in Brownsville, Brooklyn. So I think ultimately the plan is to have as many vending machines available so that people can access harm reduction supplies so they don't die. Because somebody not dying actually saves the community more money in terms of the economic impact. So the overdose prevention centers, there's two active in New York City right now, saving the city millions of dollars. Hard to believe. And, and to hear that council person say what he was saying is extremely disappointing because we're, the vending machines aren't enabling drug use, they're enabling life. And if you've got a problem with enabling life, oh. something you may want to talk no, to your I, pastor I, about. I, 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 get, I, I understand. I understand the argument. I guess what I'm wondering is, how, how are they not enabling drug use? The drug use is happening. What we're trying to help is keep people alive, keeping people alive, because dead people don't ever no, I, get an I, opportunity I, to access resources and go to rehab. If treatment, like the council person was saying, if treatment is something that they want, okay, great. Make it more widely available. Make more beds available. Make medication-assisted treatment more available. No, the problem is, the, is, is that it's not. Is there any is there any data that says that? the presence of vending machines and what the, the harm reduction programs that you've talked about, is there any evidence that it actually reduces drug use versus drug deaths? Well, again, the whole point of making sure the harm reduction supplies are available is to prevent overdose. That's why we're here. I don't have statistics in front of me, but I, I can tell you that they exist in terms of there are more people capable of accessing treatment and accessing resources to get them better into get them into a place where they're better functioning in their lives mm. with access to harm reduction supplies. Uh 
Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.